Okay, today what we're going to look at is Streamlabs OBS. I've been talking to some people uh, that have been commenting on my different videos for Streamlabs OBS and they'd like to know how they can control their audio a little bit better. Uh, one person asked uh, about some noise after plugging in a device and here's a real simple way that you can do this mitigate those different sounds that you uh, don't want in there and it's very easy you just go to the sound such as the sound device such as let's say the arctic headphones well we'll just go there for the chat over here you you'll click on the gear button go over to filters this is where you can apply your filters the number one thing that you can do to get rid of that hiss from those particular devices is just use the gain filter the gain filter is the volume control basically of your device now you will you will see that it's set at zero and depending on your device like i was saying you may be able to turn this up a, a bit further if you like that is one thing you can do and and that that may give you more audio if that's what you want if you want it less you can bring it down uh, also so the gain is something that you can control that hissing like I was talking about before. Also, within these bars right here, you can use the volume to bring it down if you like. Now, if you're talking about a microphone and you're having problems with volume or I should say noise around you, there are two factors here that I've found out that do matter. The product itself, it's like these Arctic 7s. I do like them a lot because they uh, noise, the noise cancelization on the mic itself is nice, very nice. That's one of the reasons why I kept these when I bought them along with the other headsets I had that I actually returned. Uh, I did a review on uh, both Arctic 7 I've, and I can't remember what the other one was. Arctic's, Arctic's Pro uh, and that one was just too pricey for what you were getting for it as far as I was concerned. Everybody, uh, sound is a very interesting thing. It all depends on the person, the person itself and what they hear and what they can't hear. So you have to keep that in mind when you are talking to people about sound and what really matters to them. So this is all subjective, you could say, would be the best word for it. So uh, let's get into microphone a little bit. I will not demonstrate how this stuff works, but I'll just show you where to go and what to do in order to get these things to work for you. And like I said, it was it sound is subjective and depending on the particular hardware you have, the settings will be different, so I'm not going to try to set mine up for noise cancelization for you. Uh, one, it can be a long process. Two, it's also subjective, as I said before. Uh, let's see. So if you go into the microphone properties of your uh, computer, I just have this muted because I'm recording on a different uh, platform and uh, so I'm just not gonna mess with that and I don't want echo so all you do is click on the the gear icon go to filters and this is where you'll find uh, like I showed you before the gain and then also you click on that you have noise suppression you can do that um, and uh, mess with that and see what what works for you in the device you have uh, so I like I said I don't play with this stuff too much as you can see it's not even on there uh, for me 
and it's just one of those things that I learned to deal with and if you really want to get some noise suppression just turn your down your microphone volume uh, because they'll be able to hear you uh, just fine and if they want to hear you within the program that you're uh, streaming through or whatever they can just turn the volume up on uh, their device or if it's like discord you can set it up to like 200 and 700 percent so all that can be adjusted by by the other person uh, let's see so noise suppression yeah I I don't play with that within Streamlabs. Noise gate. Uh, th this is a very interesting area for sound and microphones. Uh, basically what this does, uh, right here you have the settings. Uh, you, you set up your gate as in where you want that noise to be uh, picked up at. And uh, if I had the AC going right now, I would Dem try to demonstrate that for you uh, but it's not going right now and you'd be able to tell that you cannot hear that going when I'm not talking that's the only problem with the noise gate and that's why you should uh, use the noise suppression uh, at the same time also is within conjunction of those two you should be able to mitigate the background noise now, like I said earlier, it takes a lot of tweaking to do, and it uh, also can depend on the noise that's going on in the background. Uh, the volume of it, the decibels of it, uh, in other words, the volume. Uh, so that it's, it's one of those things that can be dynamic and therefore troublesome to actually get it right for every situation that you're in. So those are the little things that you can uh, adjust in order to make your audio better uh, within a stream, within a recording, uh, those, those type of things, or just your gaming itself when you're not uh, doing any, any of those prior to that I just mentioned. So there you go. That's a real quick down and dirty explanation of Streamlabs as well as your uh, your device audio within Windows. Like I said, start with Windows first. I think you're going to be able to clean up a lot of it within Windows just to get rid of that static. And then the ambient noise. Uh, try the threshold, try the gain, uh, try the noise suppression if you want to do that. Like I said, I don't do it. I figure it's a bit of a waste of my time and uh, it's life is life is life and things are going around going about around you. So you know just just deal with it or or dive into that uh, uh, noise gate and suppression and the gain and see what you can come up with you may be surprised uh, that you may hit a uh, sweet spot so there you go down and dirty uh, noise suppression noise cancelization noise uh, optimization by Chris in the tech basement and I am saying <laughs>